Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play Godcraft Frontiers. And we're here at the uh, the nice little box. <laughs> um, what's new? I don't think much is new. I've won into insaning mining mode. Oh, and I ran out of power. I'm literally on my last bit of life, so that's something I need to worry about. Three million left in there. I don't know why. Once in a while, the the light, like the it goes dark and then light and dark and light. I'm not sure exactly what causes that. I'm not sure if light source in the way or I I don't know. Prefer it to be always lighter. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that weird? It's affected by the light source. <laughs> so to see her text better in the interface, you need light near it. Isn't that weird? Um. So yeah, three million we're at. I've turned off my force field. Not a big deal, especially when. I'm online and doing recording. Um, I've never really needed it anyways. It was more of a, a precaution just to keep things a bit safe when I'm offline and etc. I'm going to charge my boots up there. So I went and did a lot of crazy mining. You can see here lots and lots of ores. And I mean, this is just this is nothing off the ores. There's a lot more you can add up here. Um, I'm starting to scatter chests around, so we need to worry about... Uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, basalt. Yeah, that was from before. Look at the copper. I just been putting everything just randomly everywhere, um, as you can see. But this episode, uh, let's see here. Oh, lots of wheat and fish from my thing. Some bedrock and more basalt, string, more unprocessed ores. I'm not gonna process them for now. So as you can see, I have a lot of things. <laughs> Uh, done here. I haven't really done anything actively here. I've changed a bit here around here. Um, I guess I put this, the logistics power junction here, and I've doubled my walls so it looks like there's a wall still there. Um, mainly so I can uh, put this uh, power junction here because I found out I can't put I can't put the the basic cable ba or basic pipe is the only one that can go into it and it can't go from the top and it can't go from the bottom and the bottom takes the power in. Power could probably go in another way but since I can't put this, like, say, right there in between this and then have a basic pipe going over top of it because it doesn't fit, I had to put it somewhere where it was somewhat neater. And I thought, why not that? So now my piping will just keep going here, and it works. And I can just easily click there if I need to look at it. And, of course, it's maxed out because, uh, well, uh, the power grid is hooked up to it now. So that's awesome. Um, so first thing is first, I'm going to have to build some new logistics... Uh, things in the very very near future uh, part of my power plan and uh, to do that I'm gonna have to start making an assembly table so if we type in this AS just don't type ASS just say AS you can see I need two components here assembly table and laser um, so I'm gonna start building those right now uh, assembly table is gonna take a diamond gear so it's probably one of the nastier recipes out there um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves <laughs> some gold if that's even possible crap knowing me I've used up all my gold oh god how can I use all my gold up well this is what happens I guess it's glowstone probably have gold somewhere here ooh gold gears you know what we don't have to worry now uh, so we just have to line the gold gears with diamond for that one so there you go Diamond, 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 and there we go, we're set. So for the main table, we need some obsidian, which is not too far. Actually, we have some in here, I think, don't we? Yep. And, uh, oops, my thing's messing up. There we go, so not bad, and redstone. There we go. So, obsidian on the sides, and uh, diamond there, or diamond gear diamond and redstone now assembly table is important because it makes chips and gates and then a little other stuff that ends up being pretty important um, I guess the biggest feature of the assembly table is mainly um, to do with I'm thinking where I'm gonna end up doing this all hmm I'm thinking I'm gonna end up playing with something new okay you know what I'm gonna probably place it here temporarily um, not the best place for it, but it's more of a temporary spot. Oh, cool. I think the texture got a little updated. Um, anyways, it's to make chips and stuff, and it gets cheaper, and I'll show you what gets really cheaper here. So let's go over here and put this in here. So we're going to have to make, I say three is usually how we go. Um, so one, two, three, one, two, 
three. Now you can start with one if you want to. Um, no big deal. And actually, three of these are probably a little too much for what I need now, but yeah, no big deal. So just put it here, here, and here. It has to be within five blocks, I think, of this block or so. So that should be just enough. Um, I need a power source. So you know what? I'm going to end up using this. Not hard to use that. And we need some piping. So we're going to take gold transport pipe. And uh, we're going to go and take some redstone. And we're going to also need some wood transport pipe. as an extractor for it. We're going to need a couple pieces of wood here. I should have some of the rubber farm. Here we go. Well, that's enough anyways. So just put this up here. You only get three from rubber wood. We just put it here and then a piece of glass. Oh, what are, what are we making again? Yeah, just a piece of glass then. Never mind. I was like, what are we even making? And a piece of glass in the middle, and there you go. And then we just put one of those in, a piece of redstone, and wooden conductive. And for this, I'm going to make... Uh, oh, kind of came out that way anyways. 10 uh, conductive uh, piping, and it looks a little more bolder. I like it. So basically here, now what we can do is we can go up here, and actually these are one too high because we're going to end up going like this. So it's even a little closer now. It's not too bad. We're going to just go over here. There you go. And there's the rolling machine. Um... And you don't really need to power the rolling machine. I think most of the power should end up going right into the thing. Well, hopefully it does. We'll see here anyways. Um, let's put it there. and Put this here. And then just move this up one. There you go. And then we'll put our coal in here. And in fact, since we have probably more than enough coal coke here right now. Actually, maybe I don't. Maybe I've used it all. Never mind. I haven't been feeding it enough cold coke, so <laughs> I was gonna say we could use that. I think you get double the life or four times the life now or something. But yeah, this is good enough. And there you go. So we have power. It's going to feed this because it does store power. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's a way to stop that. I don't think so. So you may, because it will eat energy and it requires energy over time. Because you can see it'll start falling down. Um, you may want to just. Uh, oops! Somebody's coming near. Slayer and Sniper. Just walking by, I guess. Um, you may want to just disable the pipe there like that for now. So all the energy should be going up here. And of course, it's going to want to go to the lasers eventually. Here we go. Um, let's check what the power is. Oh, yeah, any eye gets in the way. Hit O and get rid of it. And there you go. So that's it. That's simple as that. Now we're going to use and start making some certain materials. Um... And I guess we can start with redstone. And you can make a redstone circuit it's a chip set. So you just click that, and it'll start literally producing this redstone circuit. Now, of course, since we only have the one, it's going to go pretty damn slow. I mean, this thing only goes one millijoule. So I probably did overdo it here. It's probably better just to do that. Don't be jerks, guys. Anyways, there we go. Ta-da! Hey, it works, right? Did I... Do I have any other engines? I don't think so. I was wondering if I had any actual... Uh, did I make an electric engine one time? I thought I did for something. Or was that... Maybe that was the other server. <laughs> I think I actually went right to something like that the first time. But anyways, that'll work. And it's a slow process. Well, wow, that's a little slower than I expected. So maybe we should give it a better engine. Or, uh, yeah, engine. So now we search for a chest for, like, a lifetime here. Just get this rubber wood and do that. There we go. There we go. Let me just go like this. Ta-da. And that's it. And then we just put that there. And there, it works. Uh, yeah, this is definitely just inefficient. This is not going <laughs> to... This is going to take a lifetime. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just jump right up to my adjustable engine I like to do. Um, so if we type adjustable, and this kind of helps my grid. Actually, there's another one I wanted to try, but uh, it's, it's really nice, actually. It does a good job. And uh, I forget what it's called. It's like redstone something. It's new. Okay, here it is. Redstone energy block. So we're going to need lead ingot or lead. Lead, lead, or lead. Oh, crap. 
Well, maybe we won't be making that yet. Where do we get lead? Where else can we get lead from? So we need lead. Um, let's see where some... So where can we get this lead from? Silver dust? Okay, we're not going to bother with that one right now. That seems a little bit annoying at this time. But it holds a lot of power on it, and it's a really nice little uh, device. So it's definitely something I'm going to end up using, I think, in the future. So let's go to the adjustable engine and see what we have here. Adjustable. Here we go. We just click here. So you need a couple Lapatron crystals, advanced uh, machine blocks, some combustion engines, and advanced circuit. So yeah, it's a pretty taxing one, but why not? I mean, that, that's the whole point of this, right? Um, if you guys have watched my videos before, I've actually made a couple of these in the past, so why not make another one, right? So let's start with uh, Lapatron crystals, I guess. Um, only if I was a little more organized, huh? I'm sorry, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, do, 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 do. Probably going to need some of these carbon plates. Look at you can see my steel's starting to add up. That's feeding the coal coke that I get from here into the bottom of this and getting the steel here. So uh, things are actually going really, really well. Um, in fact, we could probably do another one here. Feed it up again. Actually, I need a bit more coal than that. I don't know if we have any over here. There we go. There we go. Um, I'll show you a little secret here. I'm showing you I have a little hidden compartment over here come on I need a pick oh god you guys are probably hating my organization I don't want to use my fortune though for some reason I feel like I'll just die accidentally somehow anyways here we go we go down here and you know, oh shit I thought my jetpack was on me oh it is on me I just didn't put in the charger my boots aren't on me oh god okay anyways we're down here and we somehow survived uh, these are full. I need to drain them. That's one thing I really need to do. Um, since we have lots of tin, I'm going to put it in the tin for now. I personally would suggest that you fill it into tanks, but uh, right now with our bit of a shortage and whatnot and a little unorganized, I'm just going to throw it in the tins. And I thought I had a whole bunch of tins just right around here somewhere. There we go. Oh, God. Yeah, guys, I'm definitely going to be working on logistics very soon, so you don't have to have this uh, horrible experience of me just flipping back and forth through everything. Um, yeah, I have tins in there, but whatever. So, I think it's like this to do the tin containers yet. So, that's enough for each one. Do I have my jetpack on me? Yes. Okay. And we put this in here, and there we go. It'll start draining it all into here. And this will actually hold one tin exactly, or one stack of tin. So that's pretty cool. So we can put the fuel in here now. Well, we can probably use this fuel down the road for whatever reason. And one stack in here, and then of course the one in here, one stack in there, and we probably should drain this out. There we go. Perfect. I wonder if it slowly progresses in there. Uh, it probably finishes and puts literally the one bucket in there. Cool. So that's, that's running, and uh, good. And if we look at it, we can probably see a recipe, what we can use this eventually for. Um, what can we use it for? Wood tie. Recipes? What's the recipe show? Oh, this is just showing you all the different... It has its uses anyways for a few things down the road. There probably could be a little more usage, usage out of it. If I could figure it out. Maybe just wood ties. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I'm sure Greg has plans for it or he has plans for it. I suck with any eye. I swear, over time, I'm getting worse on the interface with it. I just, I'm getting lost on it. It's like, oh, do I click this one or do I click this? Oh, look at this. Adjustable energy storage unit. Oh, yeah, that's the Greg Tech one. Something I want eventually. A little expensive, though, right now. So, let's get back on track here. So, we we're going to make the chips here. So we got these chips here, which are great. We got this. Nope. Time to turn off for sound. Yeah, I have a couple of MFSUs ready, some thermal generators for the future there. Um do 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 I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just I'm just like randomly putting things in my inventory. So if we go over here, what is one of these made out of? There we go. 
Oh, yes. Uh, actually, yeah, because we can use these. One, two. And then... Uh, actually, I'm going to need some more in the future, so let's just do... Ah. Eight, I guess, for now. I am going to use them in the future, so why not plan ahead, right? Makes a bit of sense. There we go. Perfect. So we have that, and now we're going to need uh, Advanced Circuit. Now, Advanced Circuit's not too bad. We just need some glowstone here. Had one. There we go. There's a stack. And, uh, yeah, so Advanced Circuit. Just put that in there. And actually, no, we shouldn't be using that. Don't forget, we have that material that we're going to purposely use, that Electrum. The gold dust and... Uh, Silver dust put together in a crafting table, and then you make these uh, the, the electrum dust, and of course, it makes that. So that gives us uh, a double yield. So if we go like this, we'll get a double yield of on the chip. So we go like that, and what do we have here? You have to go somewhere, and I guess you go on one side like that. Is it like that, or is it red? No, we'll see. I feel like I'm screwing something up. What are we even making again? Advanced circuits. Oh yeah. So that was right. So we can make a few of those. Why not just make that many? <laughs> Why not? We may eventually need them for something else. Well, we will anyways. Uh, combustion engines are pretty easy. Um, you're going to need a bunch of pistons. I think I've used them all, unfortunately. Of course I did. So we're going to need m normal iron for this recipe. Um, so let's go over here. We had it over here somewhere. Is it still making sound? I guess not. I like to have a wee bit of sound. I feel paranoid if I can't hear something. There we go. A little bit. So, if we go to the this engine here. Ha! Oh, we need cobblestone. It's like you always need something that you just don't have on you. There we go. So, cobblestone! So, where's my wood? Okay, here we go. And the cobblestone. Perfect. Ten, the redstone, and there we go. That's good for now. And here we go. Iron gear, huh? They're not hard. I just wasn't expecting it, and I'm not gonna have enough stone, cobblestone. Do 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 do. There we go. Okay, so we need to make the gear first. Uh, let's do that. So wooden gear. Stone gear. And let's just do half iron gear. There you go. So now we do this, and we're set. So you there, you there, and... One, two, three, one, two, three, and we don't have the glass on me. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll get there, I'll get there. So, there we go. Let's put you up, put you there, and then... There you go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. Combustion engine done. Nice. Now we have to make uh, HV and advanced machines. Well, advanced machines are easy. Let's go to the HV. That one's a tricky one here. Um... My inventory is actually getting full. How fun is that? Is it really that full? Man. Why do I have all this tin on me? I don't even think I'm going to need any of it. Anyways, okay. Oh, did I get some of the plates? Yeah, I did. Where's the carbon? Ooh. Oh, yes, we just have enough. So to do on camera is to make some more... The carbon plates, okay. How's my power doing anyways? <laughs> so we're, we're just eating away on this, and you can see I've only made one chip. Not worth it at all. Especially since this is a low-quality chip, too. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So we have that. So we're making... Oh, we can make those quickly, I guess. And, oh, we actually have... It's like, oh, don't have machine blocks on me, but we do. Okay. So let's see what we have to do for this puppy. Oh, derp. 
heard an Enderman. Ah, stop clicking the wrong recipe. Okay, there we go. We need energy circuit and electronic circuit. Okay, so the four ends and that's iron. Okay, so we're good. We just need rubber. We got the rubber. And, uh, oh crap. Why am I derping up here? Oh yeah, and we need the ruby. There you go, a ruby. So you take the ruby, surround it with redstone, save us having to spend diamonds once again. Perfect. Uh, we're going to take some iron. Here we go. One, two, three. Put that together. And then we're going to go like this and make the thickest you can get. And then we're just going to put the rest together. I think oh, we need an MV. Oh, you know what? Oh, crap. I don't. I think I have just two rubber, but I, for some reason I thought I used the last two gold cables or something else the other day. Ho ho! We don't have two gold, do we? Not the worst thing. I mean, I could just go like this and put some gold through the system. But, wow. Oh. There we go. So yeah, we're making the gold for that. There you go. I think we could do this. Isn't it like this or something? This is going to make us more than we need, right? It's fine. Oh. Might as well do that one too. Ta-da. Okay. So, um, oh yeah. That one advanced machine we just put it over here. Or not advanced, but machine block we'll need now. And just go like that, like that. Holy crap, we're getting there, guys. And now we can put our circuit in there, or the thingy ma bopper, and our new thingy thingy ma bopper. The MV, there we go, we now have an HV transformer, which you really never do. It's to transfer, like, I think now it's set to unlimited power to, what is it, 512? Yeah, I guess that's what it would be set. No, yeah, 512, I guess. Um, so, let's take our combustion engines. Where did I put them all? Did I put my combustion engines away? The new textures throw me off a bit. Okay, there it is. One, two, three. One, two. Do. 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 And there we go. Adjustable engine created. This will make life a little easier now. Yay! Okay, so let's find my fiber cable, which I think I had. Here it is. Whoa, how much are you? Okay, here we go. So blue's the fastest, so it's at the fastest now. So if we take some of this and some of this, we can expand this just a bit over here, and I think which is one more will be enough to bring it down from blue to a different color, I think. Oh no, amazingly. That one should. Fight, fight, fight. Really? I wonder if there's a buffer or if it's really that efficient. Hmm. So, if it's at 25 EUs, we want to probably bring down the power just a slight bit. There we go. You can read on how much power is coming in here. So, it says about 10, uh, 10. And if we bring this up just a bit, it'll say. A little over 10. There you go. I think that's a good setting. Now you can see how fast it is. And now I'm going to produce these really, really fast. So you, you can pretty much mix and match materials in here. And you'll get pretty much what you want out of it. I'm going to need a few materials over time. Um, I guess I'm going to need some diamonds out of there. I'm going to definitely need some iron circuits. And I'm going to need some gold circuits. Which thankfully I just processed some gold. Um, and these circuits are going to be used for, say, logistics pipes and other th things. Um, so I'm going to go, and uh, I'm going to need a few of those anyways. And then I'm going to work on some iron, gold, and diamonds. And this will just run. But uh, the problem is I'm going to run out of power pretty damn soon, so I need to also watch out for that. So we started at 3 million. I'm already down to 26, 2.6 million. So you can see I'm kind of getting screwed right now. Um, and that's just going to happen more and more and more 
until I'm completely out of energy. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do for the upcoming episodes. Just dump all my items there. <laughs> um, I need to make. I'm gonna make a, a system basically in the Nether. Um, it's going to allow me to, and I've shown you on my other video, I think, on the system. But uh, basically, I'm gonna pump some lava from the Nether, and I just it's one of the ways. It's it's a bit time consuming and. Some people say it's cheap, and some people say it's, well, why waste so much time doing it? I mean, I guess I could work into solar panels and probably have a better result. And it's not like I need a lot of power, either. I need power over time. So solar panels aren't too, too bad. It's not like I'm draining, like, 128 EUs a tick. And, I mean, 128 solar panels are really not hard to make at all. Um, I only need, like, 64 running all the time, really. And even that's not too bad. But... Uh, no matter what, uh, basically I'll start, so we can tear this off and go iron. And the energy does buffer if we hit O and turn this off. Oh, I guess it doesn't buffer. It stopped requesting energy. By the way, when it does that, the pipes build up, um, to a scary, uh, amount. I don't know if it'll show it here, but the pipes will, okay, it's not going to show it, but they will burst, uh, so you got to be careful with that, um. Anyways, if there's no work, it will it'll go downhill. So anyways, let me show you what I'm going to planning for the future here and what I need to make. So first of all, we can type in module. I'm going to be making a couple of item sync modules here. Um, so you can make an iron gear, which is made out of four iron and then four stone and then four wood. Or you can make a redstone iron chip. One redstone, one iron ingot. That's all. That's it. Just takes a bit more power to make. Cheapest thing ever. So I save three iron and a lot of other materials. And then what else I'm going to have to make is I'm going to need to make two electric managers here. And you check the recipe here. It's just electronic circuit, a battery, some redstone, a blank module, and a redstone uh, golden chipset. If you click that, it's just one gold, one redstone. Or what the re normal recipe is is double the re-batteries, double the circuits, and a gold gear. So now you need four gold, four iron, and it's like, wow. So this is what the chipsets are made for. This is why it's a really, really good deal to use this system here. Uh, it takes a bit of power, but overall, it doesn't matter. You, you'll never be able to find uh, an equivalent to this much power to produce, say, the extra three iron or the three extra gold. And it makes a difference when you do uh, really higher up ones. So let me show you one here. Um, what is that? Quick sort module. Here it is. Diamond gear. So you have to make a diamond gear, a gold gear, iron gear, stone gear, wood gear. Or all you need to do is make a, a diamond chip, which is just one diamond, one redstone. How insane is that for being cheaper? And it even gives you a little less. So instead of uh, four lapis, all I need is two lapis. So you kind of win-win uh, all the time, no matter how you know you work out the math, I guess. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to make a couple chassis here. Uh, I'm missing one of my modules here. Uh, oh, extractor. We'll make the extractor MK1, uh, wherever that one here. Extractor, which is cheap, just iron circuit. So I don't need a lot of components here. So I need uh, two iron for that. I'm going to need two iron for the iron sink, so four. And then the electric manager is going to require me two gold. So yeah, it's not, it's not too bad at all. And this will pretty much spice up my power again. My my sex life will be back. No, but my power life will be back. And uh, I already have components made for it. The two MFSUs, we've already done that. The thermal generator, the more efficient version, uh, we already have. We have five pumps. Don't even think I'm going to need that. Got lots of golden waterproof pipes. And uh, Lapatron uh, circuits here. The only thing we don't have yet, and I guess I can make that now before the episode ends, is uh, Ender Chest, actually. I need Ender Chest. I don't know if I have the materials for it. You know what? We do have the materials for it. Actually, how many was that? Oh, crap. I'm going to have to farm some more blaze rods. So I'll go and get more blaze f farms off camera and build a second Ender Chest. But basically, they link up and. Uh, what am I looking for? Ender pearls, right? Here we go. And my blaze rods, my four of them are here. There we go. And the obsidian chest and wool. Wool, I should have lots of now. This is my flag farm. And what was the one I don't probably have on me right now? A chest. 
Chest is easy, it's just... I and mean, I have a bunch of chests, but they, they keep going missing on me over time. And that's... Uh, it's like, Kane, why can't you put things in the... You know, and this is what's going to happen. I'm going to be organized, and it's going to happen in the next couple episodes. Uh, we'll do our logistic storage system, but right now we don't have it. Oh, here it is. So here's our chest. And the obsidian now. There we go. So we just go over here. And color code this. And you put that there, you put that there, put that there, and you put that there, and oops, there, and there you go, you have a chest. And this chest is shared worldwide. Um, somebody's probably put something bad on this one already, let's see. Nope. Huh. I'm surprised somebody just didn't take the black color, or the blank color. Um, but anyways, now uh, every time somebody uses white, like they're color coded, you can put dyes on top of them. Um, but the white one, white, 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 will uh, link to anyone else who has a white one. And you can put items in it. For example, I put that chest in there, and I can pick it. it does take a bit. It's an obsidian uh, chest, don't forget. And then you click it, and there it is. It's still there. And if you have two or three of these, and you open it, they'll all three open at the same time. So we'll put one of these in the nether, and one of them here, and that'll help us there. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. I know this is a pretty right-on-the-dot uh, episode. Um, I derped up a bit, but hey, we got an adjustable engine up, and we have now our assembly table, which is a huge, huge bonus. I mean, I almost recommend doing this even earlier in the gameplay if you have probably renewable energy or you've already you know have a ton of energy saved up um mainly because it's good to have these on stock especially if you're going to do the logistics pipes if you're not going to do logistics pipes as much i'm going to say assembly table isn't as important but um uh, they're still important for gates and stuff and, and there we go at 2.3 million so we're definitely running out of energy now so i'll be ready for the next episode we'll pretty much just be leaving from here right to the nether and uh yeah, so I'll see you guys soon, I guess, in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and see you tomorrow.